The old Dragon Slayer isn't the only deliberate throwback in Dark Souls 2, because here come the Belfry Gargoyles, a mildly remixed version of the Bell Gargoyles encountered from the first game. And again, it's hard to know how much narrative weight to put into them, because they are an optional boss in an optional area, guarding another optional area that leads to a dead end dedicated to PvP. Still, if we do want to hunt for meaning, Gargoyles are protectors, they are guardians of buildings, defenders of grand edifices like cathedrals. In that way, they are associated with power, especially the power of the church or the kingdom that commissioned their creation. So we can see them as extensions of the Bellkeeper Covenant of the area, protectors of the romantic bells of the prince and princess and their tragic, doomed love. Accept the Covenant and you make yourself a little bit like them, and like the Bellkeeper Dwarves, the tiny marionette people created by the princess to protect her bell. You find purpose in service, as you were. There's your metaphor for identity, if you wanted one. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.